Good evening, my friends. Hello there. Finally, it's Friday. So, we are finishing the week. Well, at least the people who work from Monday to Friday. So, uh, just let me tell you that after tonight, we're going to have just two more classes on Monday and Tuesday. And then we're going to finish this module finally. So, uh, it's nice to see you again. Here we have uh, John. Hello, John. Are you there? Hi, this uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Everything okay? Um. Well, I come in, and I am very tired, but and I am very well. I am very well. Thank you for your asking, Tishi. Okay. I hope you feel like better in a couple of minutes because I know that this class is going to be kind of fast. You will see. Okay. But thank you for being connected, John. Thank you very much. And here we have also Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, so teacher. Appreciate. Okay. Um, how are you tonight, Guillermo? Uh, I feel tired. Okay. I can imagine. You work tomorrow? Mm, yes. Uh, all the weekend. No, oh, come on. When is your day off? It's during the week. It was uh, Thursday. Yesterday. Yes. Okay. So only one day off. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's be positive. Remember that. Well, that's well. Every job is like different. It has different characteristics. So. Okay, let's try to do it uh, really good, Guillermo. Thank you for being here. Come Nos on. Vamos a ir incapacitar. <laughs> <laughs> can do it, come on. Okay, here we have Katia. Mm, we have also Rivas, right? By the moment. So um, yesterday we were talking about gerunds, right? But here we have this. Let me check one exercise that we didn't complete, I guess. All right, just to reinforce. To have like a feedback. Here we have gerunds, and we can work with gerunds. Los gerunds o gerundios son verbos con ing. They can work as subject, pueden trabajar como sujeto, direct object, like this, or indirect object. And it is very common that we have gerunds after these verbs. Tenemos gerundios después de esos verbos. Okay. And yesterday we were uh, like practicing with this. Okay, let me see. For example, I avoid um, like drinking, drinking tequila. Okay. Yo evito tomar tequila. I avoid drinking tequila and so on. Okay. So here we have a list of verbs that are, uh, that is really useful because after the verb avoid, here we have the gerund. Aquí tenemos el gerundio, el gerund. Okay. Another example could it be? I enjoy. Aquí está enjoy. Playing. Playing. For example, chess. Que es ajedrez, okay? So I enjoy playing chess, okay? 
here we have these uh, verbs that are, are really useful. So let's try to make sentences. Sé que ahora me van a hacer bien las oraciones because yesterday we were having like different sentences, but I need you to do this, okay? So, quiero que haga una oración con I, luego uno de esos verbos, y el siguiente ver, verbo tiene que ser con gerundio, okay? Aquí está el ejemplo. Aquí están los demás, okay? So, let's try to make some sentences in the chat. Voy a esperar sus oraciones. Ahí está el ejemplo. Okay, let's see uh, your sentences. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Uh, we start with Guillermo. Please, Guillermo, could you read your sentence? Yes, teacher. I enjoy uh, drinking soda. Okay, thank you. Katia, please. I had working on weekend. Yeah, me too. Okay, uh, Rosalie, I don't know if, if uh, well, Rosalie is not available, maybe later, she told me. So, uh, Daniel and Rivas. I enjoy finishes work. Okay, good. Yeah, that's perfect. Rivas and John. I prefer analyzing big data. Okay, good. John and... Uh, Jose? I, f I finished running the mountain. Good one. Okay, Jose, what about your sentence? I enjoy taking rest. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Now we understand really good uh, the, the use of gerunds, right? Okay. Um, let's continue with the other. Okay. The topic of tonight is how to use gerunds. Como usar gerundio, okay? Just uh, let me show you. The useful phrases that we have for tonight. Okay, here we have this. Different forms to say yes 
And in this case, we have few. Tenemos pocos. Tenemos of course, tenemos sure, okay. Definitely, absolutely, ¿verdad? Definitely, absolutely. Entonces, eh, se dan cuenta que la E no se pronuncia, ¿ok? I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening. And then one of these words or phrases. Adi, I don't know if Adi is here. Okay, if not, we go, I don't know, the case of Ana Cristina, Elias, Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Of okay. course. Thank you, Rivas. Good. And we go with, I don't know, Claudia. Daniel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, I don't know if we have David. Listen, teacher. Okay, good, David. What's your word? Sure. Good, okay. Uh, Alejandra. Evelyn. Okay. Um, Listen. Thank you, Evelyn. What's your phrase? ¿Cuál es tu frase? Sure. Thank you. Uh, we go now, Graciela. I don't know if Graciela is here. If not, we go yes, with... teacher. Okay, Graciela. Hello. Hello, teacher. Absolutely. Thank you. Guillermo, it's your turn. Present, teacher. Uh, sure. Good. Jose Andres. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Absolutely. Thank you. John, it's your turn. I am here. Um, good evening, everybody. I choose, of course. Perfect. Thank you. Of course. Katia, hi. Hi, present. Uh, okay. Thank you. Maritza. Present. Definitely. Okay, good. We go with Marvin. No, right. Noé, are you there? Hello, President. Absolutely. Thank you, very nice. We go now with Gustavo. Good evening, teacher. Definitely. Okay, nice. And here we have uh, Oscar. I don't know if Oscar is there. Okay, uh, Rosalie. Present. Sure. Thank you. Okay, we go. Susie is here. No, right. Okay, and Teresa. Okay, um, we're going to uh, start the class. But Yesterday, we were talking about one top. Well, we didn't talk about this. I like you to tell me your opinions. Generation gaps con como vacíos generacionales. This question is very interesting. Is the speaking activity of yesterday, but we couldn't complete it. Do you think that your life is easier, harder, easier or harder? than your parents. Cuando decimos easier is más fácil, harder is más difícil. Okay? So let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can have this time Noé. I don't know. You tell me and then we go with Katia. I we want to know your opinions. Hello, teacher. Well, in my case, I think it was more easier because okay. In my, in my case, I think it was more easier because they give me the tool to um to work and to get better things, I think. Okay, yeah, you receive because like today at my age it was Yeah, they they they, they have more limitations, right? Now maybe you have the tools yeah. and and you got the opportunities, okay? So, eh, no es es easier. Katia, and then Guillermo. Um, my life is much easy thanks to my mother. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that? But um, 
because sorry uh my mother and i don't know eh, como que le costó mucho eh, oh, she, salir she had, como de donde estaba okay uh -huh. she had difficulties uh, because of the the reality uh, her reality at that moment and now you have more advantages tienes más como más ventajas tú if we compare right si comparamos entonces mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Katia. Guillermo and John. Uh, okay, teacher. I think that my life is easier than um, my parents' life. Okay. Do you have any specific reason for that? I think that I have more opportunities um, to study and um, in the work, mm -hmm. I mean, to get a job. Mm -hmm. well, so that's it, yeah. More opportunity. Okay. okay, thank you. And here we have uh, John. And then okay. we go with Maritza. Please, John. Let me think. Um, I'm... In my in my personal opinion, uh, my life is general is easier than my parents mm -hmm. because technology has facilitated many things. Mm -hmm. That's another point, right? Besides some other aspects, technology facilitates a lot of things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Uh, we go with Maritza. And then we go with Gustavo. Okay, Maritza. I think it's easier because uh, according to her, their stories, there were other condition, conditions. Conditions. Mm -hmm. Like conditions. Like not having the opportunity to study. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, they um, didn't have like uh, too much opportunity, right? To study, okay, good, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, good aspect. And what about, if we have Gustavo and then Rosalie. Hi, teacher, in my opinion, I think my life is easy, easier because, because there are more opportunities. Okay, you consider you have more opportunities, okay? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Rosalie, what's your opinion? And then we go with Jose. Okay, teacher, I think that my life is easier, easier because the advanced technology, more opportunity in study, transport, and job. Okay. Okay, good, good. So thank you. A very nice point. Let's listen now to Jose and then we go with Graciela. Okay, teacher. Uh in my case, in my life is easier than my parents' life. Uh, because uh, in the past uh, maybe was more difficult. To get some things right, like like now in the days, mm -hmm. and also because based right now, right, the base that my parents will right, they pave the way basically. Okay, they pay the way, as you say, right, and now you have like yeah, yeah maybe facilities, right? Good, thank you, uh, Graciela. Are you there? if it wasn't for them okay yes if it wasn't for them you had like difficult or some complications right thank you yes uh, Graciela and then Rivas okay in, in my case I think that my life is easier than my parents because they have to survive with three childs or children's children 
children. children. Yeah, okay. and that, that is something that most of our parents have uh, is that uh, from very young age, they had to work. And maybe they didn't have yes. the support of their parents, uh, maybe emotionally, but not economically, right? And well, yeah, that's a really important point. Thank you. Okay, okay we go with Rivas and then David. In my opinion, it's easier because they gave me the opportunity to study and now it's my turn to reward them. Yeah, it's your turn, okay, to return that. Thank you. Okay, David, and, and thank you, and Daniel. Okay, teacher, uh, in my opinion, is relative. In something, my life is better than my parents. Uh, for example, nowadays, there are more opportunities to study and prepare academically. On mm -hmm. that side, in it is easier. Easier, but the, easier. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, but the cause of the cost of living, it is higher now that before. It's more difficult on that side. Money used to be enough for more. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Very important aspect. Thank you, David. I agree with you. Okay, Daniel, please. And then Evelyn, if she's ready. Okay. Uh, uh, I seen that my life is very easy compared to those my father, my parents. I think I have a lot to thank you for the thing you mm -hmm. have given me. Okay. Yeah, we have to. Uh, say thank you or be thankful for having those opportunities. Okay, uh, Evelyn, are you ready? Uh, more difficult, I will try because I do a lot of things around the house. Okay, so in your case, you consider that it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Okay, good aspects. Remember that in the, most of the cases, maybe we have more opportunities, but in the past, uh, houses or lands were like, they were available, como que estaban más disponibles. Now it's kind of difficult and the salaries in the past were not so good. But with the, but in the past, maybe you could buy a lot of things. Nowadays, it is maybe it is not enough. Well, Let's continue. Here we have um, some gerunds, okay, as subject, okay? Here we have increasing our sales is mandatory or producing high quality goods is our target as subject. Also, here we have, after some verbs, I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. Okay, I dislike firing employees due to low incomes. Aquí estamos como sujeto y aquí después de verbos. Y luego tenemos after prepositions, después de preposiciones. I'm interested in buying raw material or I'm concerned about asking for money. Okay, three cases. Okay, here we have this. Look, complete the sentences with the verbs in the box. <clears throat> and we need to write these verbs in gerunds. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And we're going to complete it together. Lo vamos a completar juntos, okay? Así que les doy un par de segundos, denle una revisada. And try to select three or four sentences because remember that when I am asking for participations, maybe one person can say one sentence and you, you maybe you think, hey, that was my sentence. I was going to say that. But for that reason, I need you to have like three or four options, okay? If you could do it completely, perfect. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds.
Okay, let's see what you have here. Remember that we have different sentences. So here we have complain, become, sell, play, cheat, eat, lie, tell, work, get, live, write, do, uh, wake, and have. And volunteers for this. Maybe we can have like some. Okay, Guillermo. Good. Uh, you should avoid eating so much meat. Okay, nice. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are veggie or vegetarian. Yeah, they avoid eating so much meat, but in our case, we like meat, right? But Okay, thank you. Oh, no, please. Yeah, my lying on the. Okay, lying. Yeah. Could it be two options? Podemos tener dos opciones: lying or cheating. Okay. Posiblemente sea cheating porque cheating es mentir. Y copiar. En cambio, lie es también okay. mentir. Pero puede ser también acostarse. Bien raro ese verbo. Thank you. Rosalí, what number? Uh, the number three. Hmm? Uh, three is there selling to have if you need money. Okay, selling. Mm -hmm. Sell in your house if you need money. Thank you. Okay, who else? Uh, John. Okay, my friend. You yes. Um, let me see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. She practices playing the piano all day. Okay, practicing. She pra playing. Playing. Mm -hmm. Okay, playing the piano. Okay, nice. Maybe we can have the participation of Maritza and then Katia. I detest, detest waking up when it die dark outside. Dark outside, yeah. Waking up is not so funny, right? Especially when it is raining or it is dark outside. Thank you. And Katia, and then we go with uh, Gustavo. Um, seven. My sister Francis, becoming a pop star. Mm -hmm. My sister Frank Francis. Okay. I don't know it's correct. I guess yes. Could it be? Could it be? Let's try. Oh. Okay. And Gustavo and then Daniel. Okay, Gustavo, I don't know if you are there. If not, let's listen to Daniel and then David. Uh, Daniel, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't mean working homework. Or I don't mind. Could it be doing? Yeah, could it I be? I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. David and Alejandra. Okay, teacher. Uh... I don't know. It is correct. Uh, no problem. Two, Let's three, try. Four, number five. No, she did. Then. Deny. Deny. Yeah, deny. 
leaving the taxi without paying. Okay, very good leaving. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alejandra, are you okay? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, we finish it. Uh, writing our insights before noon. Okay, before noon. Okay, writing. Thank you. Gustavo, are you there? And then Jose? Okay. You know, have Gustavo, eh, Jose, and then Rivas. Okay, Jose? Okay. Um, my college keep working all the time. It was annoying. Okay. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, Rivas, and then Graciela. Hey, teacher, I really appreciate having your advice. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about Graciela? Could you? I took my umbrella. I didn't want to risk getting wet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe we can have Evelyn. I feel live on the beach all day. Mm -hmm. Sería lie, the lie, donde dice anteriormente que es acostarse, tirarse. Okay. Este es bien extraño, miren cómo se escribe, lie. Okay, and here we have uh, some other. The job in the supermarket involves. Uh, could it be complaining? Complaining? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Well, thank you for all your uh, participations. We completed this very fast. If you notice, it was very fast. Okay, we go now with. The other part, and here we have uh, this. Let's take a look at uh, at this balance sheet. Take a look at this. Demos una revisada.
Okay, um, let's check this balance sheet. And here we have consolidated balance sheet January 31st, uh, 2017. Here we have the current assets, okay? Eh, que son los activos circulantes. I'm going to select it. Okay, here current assets and cash and equivalent so total current assets, total assets, uh, current uh, liabilities, que son los pasivos, verdad, de pasivos circulantes. Eh, aquí tenemos accounts, payable, total current liabilities. Tenemos stockholders equity, que es el, el bueno, el, 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 lo que tenemos en, en, en el inventario y en la existencia. Ok. And here we have surplus, capital surplus, que es el superávit. So, uh, here we have, maybe we can uh, get this uh, additions. Tenemos estas sumas. So here we have, look, this uh, quantity, okay, 1,819, okay, well, this is 1 million, sorry, 1 million, 819,000, okay, so on, here we have the addition, and here we have the others, okay, I'm going to tell you something, para decir millón, Million, dozen, hundred, okay? Million, luego tenemos thousand, que es mil, y tenemos hundred, que significa cien, okay? Let's complete this part. Okay, here we have eight millions. El objetivo es que me digan cualquiera de estas cantidades, okay? We have the other total total liability. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me, um, 40, 40 million, mm -hmm. 40 million, um, 300, 300, uh, 339 million. 30, 39 like million. Yes. Thank you very much, John. And here we have the other one. This is like a simple. This is a little simple, verdad? Eight hundred sixty-seven thousand plus mass uh, two million uh, five hundred eighty-four thousand. We have the total. Three million. Okay. Basically, this is a balance sheet. If you notice, here we have current assets, current liabilities, stockholders, equity. Here we have January uh, 31st, uh, 2016, and January 31st, um, uh, 2017. You can notice in one, in which year these, uh, there, there is more money, the, there's more inflow or outflow, okay? 
So here we have this. Now uh, we have some questions. Let me show you. Read the information and I answer the question compared with a partner. How much is the total of assets and liability, liabilities? 2017. How much is the total asset? 2017. Total assets. 2017 is the first one. Is this? Okay. Any volunteers to read this? Algún voluntario para que lea eso? Voluntario, voluntaria. Let's try. If you have difficulties, I'm going to help you. Maybe uh, Noe, please. Uh, I think it's a million ninety one thousand. Yeah, that's it. Eight million ninety one thousand. Good. Thank you, Noe. Perfect. Let's uh, see the question number two. Look, if we add uh, 867 million in, okay. Si sumamos, if we add uh, this quantity, eight, uh, 167 million and 2 million and 50, no, 584,000. I don't know. You tell me the result. Tenemos algún resultado Let me see. Yeah. 8 million, 8 million, 6,900. 584 million. 80 like this? Uh, no. Like this? No, no. 80, 800, 800 million. 800 million. No. Like this? No. Eight. Eight, desde el principio, dice, me equivoqué. 800 okay. million. Okay, 800 million. Like yes, this? 800 million, 69. Mm -hmm. 800 million, 69, no. 69. 800 million, 6900. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Five... Five hundred, five hundred eighty-four million. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like this. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you. Good job, John. Okay. <laughs> kind of complicated, the quantity. Yes. Okay. Yes, number big is a little complicated. Yes, a little complicated. But we need, but we need practice. Yeah, we I have think. to practice a little bit. Okay, no problem. Maybe later we can. Practice we need more the money numbers. too. <laughs> yeah, money is important, so you have to count very well. Uh, a very simple question. Look at this. Are you afraid or in of insects or animals? Pregunta sencilla. Are you afraid of insects or animals? Si la respuesta es yes, me van a escribir así. Yes. I can stand. Y aquí dice en el ejemplo. Sí. Yo no soporto. Okay. Hay gente que no soporta las serpientes. So, yes, I can't stand snake, okay? Si la respuesta es no, okay? Simplemente, are you afraid? I'm not afraid. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, with well, any of these options are okay. Aquí en el chat me van a escribir a, a si le tienen miedo a algo o no. Okay. Tenemos dos opciones. Vean el chat. Yes, I can stand snakes. Ahí en lugar de snakes pueden escribir un insecto o un animal que a ustedes no les parezca. Y si no le tienen miedo a nada, no, I'm not afraid. Okay, I'm going to wait for your answers. Teacher. Teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Daniel, no, I'm not afraid. Good for you, Daniel. No afraid of anything. No tiene miedo a nada, dice. Good. Eh, Maritza. Daniel is Rambo. Eh, yeah, Daniel is Rambo. No tiene miedo ni a los sustos, ni a nada, ni al fantasma. No problem with that. Con la descarnada, la taconuda. No problem with that. It's, it's, a, it's a main heart. Okay. I run hard. Dime. Eh, voy a pedir permiso ahorita porque voy a salir Ad del trabajo ahorita. Voy Adelante, a ir, David. Voy a ir manejando. Voy a ir como oyente, pero en lo que pueda participar, voy a levantar la mano. Gracias. Thank you, David. Gracias por informar. Muy amable. Vete con cuidado. No vayas a andar de racing. Ok. No como Noé, que dicen que Noé sí le gusta competir. Ok. Yeah. Eh. Más que viernes. <ríe> sí, Después por eso. Cruzando. Ok, ya estaba Después matando ahí. De la clase. Ok, eh, Maritza, you can stand snake. Ok. Guillermo, I can stand spiders. Ok, spiders. Yvonne eh, me mandó un mensaje, dice, I can stand snakes, alligators, garrobos. Eh, que es similar, ok. Eh, Noé, yes, I can stand cat. No, eh, you don't like cats. Okay. No, because the urine cat is really smelly. Really smelly. That, that, that's disgusting a lot. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know. And Gustavo, no, I'm afraid. Okay, Gustavo is Rambo 2.0. Thank you. Because Daniel is Rambo 1.0. Katia, yes, I can stand spiders, mice, and cockroaches. Okay, Katia, select one of these that is the worst. ¿Cuál es el peor de los tres? Spiders, mice, or cockroaches. Ah, no. <laughs> Todos son iguales. Okay. Uh, eso me Cockroaches are good for riots. Okay. Me sonó como a despecho. Okay. Yes, Katia, I know. The, some problems with this. Okay. Thank you. Nobody, I guess nobody likes, well, few people. 
Rivas, yes, I can send Scorpions, yes, uh, they are really painful, son dolorosos cuando te pican. And here we have uh, John, yeah, I can send bees, really. Uh, John, are you allergic to bees? I don't know. Yes, I oh. allergic, yes. That, that, that's that's dangerous because yeah. there are some people that they have died because of this. Mm -hmm. yes. Immortal. Thank you, Evelyn. Yes, I can stand the mice, los ratones. Mm. I guess nobody likes uh, maybe hamsters, but mice is like... Mm. Solo acá te le gusta. Okay, Good thank you. Yes. Okay, uh, Graciela, I can say cockroaches. I... I consider that cockroaches are like difficult to eliminate sometimes because there are some cockroaches that are very small and you can find it in the everywhere and when you find cockroaches is like maybe you're if you were uh, hungry you're not no more cuando a veces uno la ve y se hace el hambre se le quita right yeah por eso la razón que la comen en Japón oh yeah that's it in Japan, they have a very uh, funny dishes. Tienen un menú algo extraño. Así se acaban rápido. Sí, okay, mejor. In China. Japan. <laughs> oh, in, in China or Japan? In China, what? Okay. In China. Okay. <laughs> in China. In Japan. Ah, okay. Maybe in China. Yes, I guess in Filipinas, they eat dogs. I don't know if in Filipinas, but there are some countries of, of that continent in which they eat strange animals like, like what well, it's like it's like strange but meat it's meat yeah even like frogs como las ranas yeah they, they eat meat yeah maybe it's delicious I don't yeah. know okay With the we're going to... mm -hmm. definitely okay my friends uh, we're going to have this and we're going to work in pairs about this. Look at this. Here we have present simple, past simple. Present simple, past simple, okay? Let's try at least to create four sentences. Intenten crear dos oraciones cada persona. Okay, for example, imagine is John and Katia. So John creates two presents and Katia to pass or maybe John, uh, one present, one past, and Katia, one present, and one past. If you notice, here we don't have the subjects. No tenemos el sujeto, but here we have the verbs. For example, I'm going to show you one. Aquí dice past simple, pasado simple. Invite me to the party. We can say, for example, Mark. Puede ser afirmativa o negativa. Depends on you. Ok, y aquí tenemos la siguiente. ¿ve? Mark invited me to the party. Mark no está. Pero ustedes pueden, o sea, inventárselo, ok. O la pueden hacer negativa. Si ustedes saben que las negativas son más fáciles. Ok. Voilà. Easy. And here we have uh, another example. Could it be in present? Aquí tenemos eat all the food. Eh, podemos decir Ana. Eh, ah, bueno, vamos a buscar en presente. Choose to speak. En presente. The teacher chooses me to speak. Ok. And that's it. Mark didn't invite me to the party. The teacher chooses me to speak. Ok, that's my part, for example. And I need you to interchange sentences. Necesito que cuando estén en equipo intercambian las oraciones, ¿ok? Luego me van a presentar las oraciones de sus compañeros, ¿ya? Yeah? Maybe we can have a screenshot. Podemos tener una captura de, de pantalla. Please, my friends. And we can do it. And I'm going to create the... Thank you very much, Noé. Yeah, and here you have the example. That's why I, I put it in there. Por eso puse ahí el ejemplo. Ok. 
Thank you. I'm going to put you in, in teams. Lo voy a poner en, en, en equipos entonces. So you can work together. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Te doy un par de minutos. Recuerden, dos oraciones cada uno. De, lo ideal sería um, uno presente, otro pasado. Okay, so you can have like different, porque después me van a presentar las dos oraciones de su compañero, right? So that sounds like interesting. Okay. Let me check this. Just give me a second. Okay, my friends. See you in a moment. Please accept the request. Accept the solicitude. Ok, Doris, Alejandra, ¿le llegó la solicitud? Yes. Ok, please accept it. Por favor, acéptela. Igual, Rosalín, no sé si estás por ahí. Perfect, thank you. Solo me faltaría eh, Alejandra. Perfect.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Um, I know that you are you are ready with the sentences of your classmates because your sentences uh, may be kind of different. So we're going to do this. And you can write present simple. Y escriben la oración. Por ejemplo, mm, she shows the pictures in front of the page. Okay. Y la otra sería past simple. Peter gave us a day of school. Okay, one example. Necesito que me escriban las oraciones, pero present simple, ¿verdad? Dos puntos, la oración, luego past simple, dos puntos, la oración. I'm going to wait for your sentence. Well, sentence of your classmate, la oración de su compañero, que él seguramente se lo dijo. Todos tuvieron compañeros. Si alguien no tuvo, puede hacer sus oraciones. Ok. I'm going to wait a little bit because we're going to read them. Vamos a escuchar. Ok. Teacher, solo la del que dijo el compañero. Sí, serían dos, ¿verdad? Una de presente ah, y una de pasado. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Good. Ah, ok. Yo escribí, le escribí en el chat de la que yo hice. <laughs> Sorry. Ok. You can write it again. Puedes escribir la, la de tu compañero si gusta. Ok. No problem. Okay, let's start. So we can take advantage of the time. We're going to start with... Uh, ooh. Let's go with Daniel, please. Uh, and then Katia, go. The number one, my mother took the money from my room. And I did not pay my from my room rent. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And let's see what do we have here, Katia, and then John. Okay, present simple. Uh, she didn't eat all the food. And by simple, I painting in room red. My room red. Okay, good one. Let's uh, listen now to John and then Carlos Rivas. Okay, this is my this is the this is the prior of my partner Noé and past simple. Okay, uh, go. Roberto didn't pay my room rent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the teacher past simple she ate all the food. Present simple, we lost the ball in the sea. Perfect, because all of, both of them are uh, affirmatives. 
Yeah, nice. Thank you, John. Yeah. Okay, Graciela and Rosalie, please. Present simple, my brother lose the ball in the sea. Okay. Past simple, my mom took the money from my room. Okay, so looking in present sería my brother loses. Como es tercera persona, my brother loses. Una S nada más. But the rest is perfect. Thank you. And we go with Rosalie. Please. And present simple, the factories in the USA made this TV. And the past sim simple, I paint my room color red. Okay, yeah, all of them uh, affirmative. Okay, thank you. Uh, John, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Noé, what about you? Are you ready? Yeah, my partner was John. Mm -hmm. And in past simple, I paint my room red. Okay, yeah, that's one. And what about the other? Do you have the other? Let me see again. Let's see in the chat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me one moment. No problem. Okay. Sorry, but I can't see the other one. Okay, I'm going to give you time. You let me know when you're ready, okay? You're relaxed. Okay, okay. Evelyn, what about you? Uh, person simple. They will not hear. The places to the winners. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Gustavo, what about you? Okay, teacher. Moment, please. The past simple Hannah talking loss of Potoro. Okay. The present simple Rodrigo Chowet. Picture on the front page. Very nice. Just that in past, sería Hannah took. In la primera, so Hannah took. But the rest is okay. Thank you, okay. uh, Noé. Very okay. good. Uh, well, we're going to continue with the, with the class. Pero nos quedan, ¿qué? 30, 37 minutes, 37 minutes, que se van a ir rápido. Okay, uh, let's start with this. What is your biggest fear in life? Are you afraid that it might come true? Remember that fear can be a lot of things. Uh, for example, not, not just a fear to snake, a rat, and, but also uh, afraid. we can be afraid from Senator Miel about the death, about loans, about illnesses, different aspects in our life that can affect you or can affect your family, your friends, okay, and so on. Maybe we can have um, Graciela and then Guillermo's answer. Graciela, could you please? Boy, teacher, boy, perdón. No problem. Uh, I can send to crash. Ay, pero, 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 ¿cuál es la pregunta? Uh, ¿Cuál es tu miedo más grande en la vida? Uh, what is your biggest fear in life? Uh, my biggest fear in my life is can be a professional because this is my dream and, and the dreams of my father. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to, to, to be a professional, but if you're not, maybe that's a fear that you have, right? Something yes, that you expect uh, to happen. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo and then Noé. Okay, what is your biggest fear in life? 
I think uh, my biggest fear in my life is that my mother die. I think that that is my biggest fear in my life. Okay. <clears throat> I guess that every every man or every woman doesn't want that your mother uh, passes away, right? We hope not, well, that that uh, doesn't happen, but it's part of our life. But we want to have our mother a long time ahead, right? Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, Noé, and then we go with Katia. Okay, I think my biggest fear in my life would be, um, let me see, let me think. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to give you time, my friend, relax. Remember okay, that sometimes okay. we have different types of ideas, okay? No it, problem. It's it raining very hard. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yes. Some friends told me that it is raining a lot of it in Salvador and around San Salvador. So it is a really big rain. Okay, and uh, we go with Katia and David. Uh, my bigger fears in life are uh, really come true when I lost my father to Jason. Oh, wow, that's a big impact, mom. I'm so sorry, Katia. Thank you. So, yeah, I can imagine that. But, well, uh, remember that that is a process, step by step, right? Little by little, you can feel better, okay? It's a process. It's not a race. No, it's not a right? But I hope you can improve day by day. So, welcome. David, what about you, my friend? Can you? Okay, teacher, uh, I think my biggest fear is that sometime bad will happen, happen. To my daughter, she is my great, greatest treasure in oh, my yeah. treasure for living. Okay, so yeah, it, it's the best that you have in your life, right? So you expect that nothing happens to her, right? I understand yes. you. I understand you. Thank you. Good point. Okay. Uh, let's listen now to John and then Jose Andres. Okay, John. Okay. Um, and sorry for the noise. It's raining hard, but yeah, I can imagine. And, and what is your biggest fear in life? Are you afraid that it might come in true? Okay, maybe maybe die before my parents and sons, I think. Yeah, good example. Uh, we expect to die, to die older, right? When we are like 80s or 90s, but uh, it is hard when we die before our parents. Thank you, good example. And uh, I don't know if Jose is there. Are you there, Jose? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello. Okay, uh, in to... my case, my biggest fear in life, it would be uh, don't survive by myself uh, when my parents face away, you know, or okay. complete my goals. Mm -hmm. But I don't be, be able to survive, teacher. Yeah, it is difficult to be without it our parents. Don't be, be able to level up. Okay. I, 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 I consider that you can do it, but it, it is hard. It is difficult. Or or die before my parents. That's something that... that... Be the most, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's something that we don't want to happen, right? Thank you, Jose. Uh, okay, my friends, we're going to have something here. Después seguimos con estas actividades. Esa es una estructura gramatical que eh, se llama el condicional cero. How to use zero conditionals. 
si tienen problemas con el audio por la lluvia, pueden ver este video el día, ah, no, cuando quieran. Esto es importante. How to use zero conditional. Okay. First, uh, we have to think that uh, in zero conditional, we have two sentences in one. Tenemos dos oraciones en una sola. Una coordinada y una subordinada. Quiere decir que esto es una condición. Escuchen este ejemplo. Si gano la lotería, yo pago mis deudas. Si trabajo domingo, descanso lunes. Eh, si me pagan las horas extras, eh, trabajo horas extras. ¿Se dan cuenta que hay una condición cuando yo digo sí? Si pasa esto, entonces pasa esto. Pasa esto, si pasa esto. So, in this case, the word if, eh, la palabra if significa sí. But it is not the same as yes. No significa lo mismo que yes, porque yes es un sí de afirmativo. Este es un sí condicional. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿vas a trabajar el domingo? Uh, si me paga el triple, si trabaja el domingo. Ok, that's one example. So, in this case, tenemos if aquí y tenemos when, que significa cuando. Veamos la, esta oración. What do we do if we have every low asset? ¿Verdad? Eh, sería en este caso, ¿qué hacemos si tenemos bajos activos? Ok, vamos a la siguiente. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. Si tenemos, si tenemos pocos este, ingresos activos, tenemos que elevar el precio. Miren acá. Aquí tenemos if en medio y aquí tenemos if al final. No importa dónde vaya, pero son dos oraciones. Veamos, esta es la misma oración que esta. Solo que el, aquí va el if al inicio y aquí va if en medio. We have to even up prices if we have low assets, ¿verdad? Tenemos que elevar los precios, ¿verdad? Si tenemos pocos activos. Vamos, otra oración con el eh, when. Sería de esta manera. Where does your family go if they need a loan? ¿Dónde va tu familia si ellos necesitan un préstamo? Es una pregunta, pero con un condicional, ¿verdad? La otra, when my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al bank. O puede ser, my family goes to the bank when they need a loan. La misma oración, solo que en diferente orden. Escuchen la primera. Cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al banco. Y la de abajo, mi familia va al banco cuando ellos necesitan un préstamo. Repito, two sentences in one, dos oraciones en una, pero tienen una condición. ¿Cuál es la condición? En el caso de Noé, que tiene ya arreglado el trabajo, y el cliente, de customer, says, ok, give me the car, déme el carro. Noé is not going to get the car if he doesn't receive the money, right? The payment. Entonces, bueno, si me das el pago, te doy el carro. Es una condición, ¿ok? It's a conditional. Es una condición, ¿ok? So, uh, here we have some exercises. Esto siempre se, como el, este condicional cero, se hace en presente. Vamos con la siguiente. Aquí voy a hacer una, voy a hacer. Um, ok, voy a hacer la tres, the four. When she, como estamos en presente, recuerden las terceras personas, right? Ok, veamos acá. Cuando ella paga sus cuentas a tiempo, ella no tiene que pagar dinero extra. Oigan bien. When she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. Necesito que revisen eso y los verbos los vamos a usar en presente, in present. Si estamos con el negativo, utilizamos don't or doesn't. ¿Verdad? Si estamos en afirmativo, si es tercera persona, le agregamos ese, ¿ok? 
take a look to the sentences, vean las oraciones y ya les pregunto. Okay, let's listen to some of your sentences. Let's remember that we have this, the verbs in parentheses. John, okay, tell me what number. Okay. And that was like... Let's try. Uh, number uh, five. Uh, is, the, is the in comics are good and employees receives a bonus. Yeah, an employee, yes, receives, pero está bien lo de la S, la de la S. Yes, un empleado, ya ven cómo está de, de tricky esta oración, ¿verdad? Está hecha para que falle. Sí. Oh, good done. <laughs> well done, thank you. Rosalie? The teacher, the number three. Mm -hmm. If employee. No, 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 no. En number two, number two, number two. <laughs> My son born the food if he cooks alone. Okay. Mi hijo quema la comida si cocina solo. No nos tiene que ser. Okay, my son burns. Yeah. Thank you. Daniel, please, my friend. What number? Number six. Um, we sell more products. When we know it, the customer needs. Yeah, that's it. We sell more products when we know the customer's need, of course. Okay, uh, number one and four. I'm sorry, my friends, because the light but if you're listening to the lights. Ya llegó la tormenta por donde vivo. Yes, it's very, it's raining very hard. Really, really hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, tell me number one or number, number two, uh, three, I'm sorry. Any volunteers, maybe we can have. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, maybe. Graciela, tell me, Graciela. Number three. If employees don't eat well, they don't be healthy. Yeah. They are not, sería ahí. Porque es el verbo to be. Ya ven cómo estas oraciones son bien tricky, bien tramposas. They are not healthy. Thank you. And hey, number one, maybe we can have the participation of Maritza. Could you help me? Can I say con No. If I wake up late, I yeah. am late 
for yeah. work. I am late for work. Bye. ¿Ya vieron? No cuesta, ¿verdad? Simple as that, ¿ok? Eh, creo que ya vamos entendiendo el condicional. Ahora. Let me show you something. Vamos a algo. Hay diferentes tipos de condicionales. Look at this. We have conditional zero, conditional one, conditional two, and conditional three. Sugiero que le tomen captura a esta imagen. Es súper importante. Creo que aquí está, pues, eh, lo, lo más importante es resumir. Ok. Um, aquí estamos utilizando principalmente este, miren. Este es el que estamos utilizando. Entonces, la clave es la siguiente. Ojo con esto. La clave dice, use for present real factual situation. No voy a explicar el condicional 1, 2, ni 3, porque esas ya son otras estructuras gramaticales, pero que las tienen acá. Ahora, en este caso, en this case, podemos notar que aquí tenemos la oración, aquí dice, ¿ve? clause if, significa la oración if, y luego tenemos la oración principal, ¿verdad? Ojo acá, condición, condition, and result. ¿Cuál es la condición y cuál es el resultado? Ok, uh, for example, uh, si te sacas buenas notas, perdón, si estudias, obtienes buenas calificaciones. La condición es estudiar. If you study, ok, if I study hard, um, I always pass my exam. Yo siempre paso mi examen o yo obtengo buenas calificaciones. Ok, para que ustedes tengan, yo creo que este cuadro le va a servir para el, el módulo 5 o 6. De, del, del beginners, ¿verdad? Es importante, no vayan a perder eso, seguramente lo van a ver. Ok. Um, I know that it's raining, sé que está lloviendo, pero vamos a tener un listening. Vamos a tener un listening, a ver qué tal. Ok. So let's try to pay. Um, pueden eh, levantarme el thumb up, el pulgar arriba con el emoji. Si está lloviendo cerca de sus eh, hogares, please. levanten el thumb up, ¿verdad? El... No. Lo siento, estaba hablando con mi conciencia. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ok, eh, nos quedan 17 minutos, 17 minutos. Vamos con el audio, unos ejercicios y luego este, finalizamos. Okay, let's listen. I'm going to play this audio two times. The Yearly family left Haybridge in 1722, and the property was left empty for some 60 years or so, falling, in the meantime, into quite a state of disrepair. 
It was during this period of neglect that the small church built on the grounds of the house in the early 16th century crumbled into ruins. Little is known about this church, although one drawing of it survives. A local artist, Timothy Warsden, sketched the church in 1728, a mere six years after the Jarley family moved out. Okay, let's listen one more time. The Yearly family left Haybridge in 1722, and the property was left empty for some 60 years or so, falling, in the meantime, into quite a state of disrepair. It was during this period of neglect that the small church built on the grounds of the house in the early 16th century crumbled into ruins. Little is known about this church, although one drawing of it survives. A local artist, Timothy Warsden, sketched the church in 1728, a mere six years after the Jarley family moved out. Okay, my friends, uh, some volunteers to say something about this audio. Let's see if we have some volunteers. I guess you have like one word, two words, maybe one phrase or two phrases. Um, you understand they were in the church, that's it. Okay, Sorry. they were in the church. Okay, thank you. Um. What about if we have some others? Thank you. Um, Guillermo, any idea? Rosalie? Mm, more or less, the Jerry family in 1722. Yeah. Interesting. After Jerry. Um, only. <laughs> no problem. Okay, no problem. I. I know it's kind of complicated. Guillermo, any idea? Mm, the same as Rosalie said. Okay, the same. Okay, maybe we can have Katia or John. Sorry, I can't hear for the rain. No problem. Okay, you have problem with, for, with the rain. Okay, that's it. John, what about you? A sentence is uh, I, I, I read no? and the property was left empty for some 16 years or so failing okay only mm -hmm. okay no problem okay um the last activity will be this la última actividad va a ser la siguiente thank you for your participation ya vimos verdad eso lo del conditionals Ahora vamos a ver una, un pequeño ejercicio, que es el siguiente. It's kind, it is really easy, está bastante fácil, por el hecho de que este ejercicio ya tiene los verbos con los cuales se pueden trabajar. Ojo con esto. You can work with these verbs, but you have to take into account that um, it we have to use third person. So we have to use third person and all that, right? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Let's give you a couple of seconds so that you can give it a review. Then we complete it and we finish the class, okay? Here we're going to do it in a in, in collective, right? So let's take a look. We're going to do a review and then we're going to do it.
Ok, let's listen to some of you. Eh, si se dan cuenta, ya les escribí aquí una respuesta. Por ejemplo, la de la 8. Correct me if I am wrong. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que le vamos a agregar la palabra if. Y lo que está aquí como en eh, marca de agua. Ok. Eh, Rosalí y eh, Maritza, you tell me one sentence, please. We have also Noé. Just teacher, just teacher number one. Ok, let's go number if, one. If she arrives, please call me. Ok, I'm sorry. Ok. If she arrives, because if third person, please call me. Thank you. Eh, Maritza and then Noé. Number three, mm -hmm. I can, cannot run if I eat too much, much. Yeah, if I eat too much. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, Noé and Daniel. Okay. Number 11, I am sad if you not love me. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. If you don't love, okay. Uh, Daniel and Guillermo. What happen if I press the button? <laughs> Very nice. And uh, number, what number is it? Nine. Yeah, nine. If I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guillermo, right? Yes, and number seven, mm -hmm. you can see it here if you want. Mm -hmm. If you want. Okay, nice. Maybe John can help us. And then maybe Jose. Okay, John, can you hear me? Okay, if not, Gustavo, are you there? Okay, teacher. Number 10. Number 10. We, we don't not. We, we are, no, we can mm -hmm. do that. Okay, if. if if we can do that. If we can do that, thank you. Okay, very nice. Gustavo, are you there? And then Rivas? Number two, teacher. If my mom is busy, I help her. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Rivas and Evelyn. Okay, Rivas is okay. not the... Yes? Okay, teacher ah. number five. I'm sorry, ah, ya había pasado, verdad, Rivas? I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. No problem. Okay, uh, Evelyn, please. And then Katia. One number, Evelyn. Number five. If mm -hmm. it is hot, I drink water. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it is hot, I drink water. Okay, thank you. Katya, can you? Okay. Well, number 12. What do you eat uh, if you are hungry? Yes, if you are uh, hungry, yeah. Thank you. Okay, excellent. And maybe uh, here we have some other. Let's finish with this. Uh, number four, okay. If you buy today, you save money. That's fast, yeah. Mm -hmm. And six, we wait for you if you come with us. Entonces se dan cuenta, se dan cuenta que es tan fácil. No, no difficulties for 
zero conditional, pero el condicional cero, creo que ya tenemos una buena noción de cómo desarrollar estas, eh, estos ejercicios, ¿verdad? I'm going to check the attendance list because the time passed by so fast, pasó rápido el tiempo, ¿ok? Please tell me hi, hello, good evening or goodbye, if you listen to your name. Adi Reyes, Ana Cristina, Carlos Antonio, Carlos Enrique Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Claudia Marcela, Daniel, Daniel, Ernesto. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, uh, let's listen to David. Present, teacher. Thank you, okay, Doris Alejandra, Evelyn, Karina. Present. Thank you, Graciela. Guillermo. Present teacher. Ok. José Andrés. John. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia. Maritza. Present. Good night. Bye bye. Marvin. No. Eh, Noé. Present teacher. Ok. Gustavo. Thank you. Present teacher. Good night. Oscar. No. Thank you. Rosalí. Present, good night. Good night. Okay, Susie and Teresa, I don't know if they are here. Okay. Uh, my friends, les sugiero que avancen este fin de semana este, con eh, la unidad 4 y el examen final. Recuerden, por favor, que el martes terminamos la, la unidad 4, el, el martes terminamos módulos y todo sigue bien. Este, avancen. Porque el martes ya en la noche este, empieza a pasar notas finales. Eh, recuerden también que el martes vamos a desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Ustedes ya son pues, expertos en llenar la, la encuesta, ¿verdad? Así que eh, como se recuerdan que en el caso de la encuesta se desarrolla el último en la última clase. No la hagan antes, ¿verdad? Porque son... Eh, pues indicaciones verdad que nos dan para que la hagamos en colectivo si le, ya les llegó la información de la, de la encuesta no la hagan sino hasta la, el última, la última clase que tenemos el martes okay? pasen feliz noche have a good night enjoy sure. your weekend I didn't, I didn't I didn't name myself ok uh, here I am thank you John Somos, has estado participando bastante yo ya te tenía acá verdad en, en el... thank you Okay. Have a good night. Pase okay, buenas noches. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Bye bye. And remember, you dream, don't drive. Goodbye. Don't drive. <laughs> don't drive if you drink. Yeah. Okay. Buena oración. Bye. Buena oración. Bye bye. Bye bye.